What's up guys, it's the TechnoTuber and today we're going to be taking a look at the OS walkthrough on the PS Vita. Alright, so once you press this uh, power button here, um, there is uh, the main, the lock screen which appears. To unlock this you just need to like kind of slide this right here. You can also put a password. For right now let's just talk about the layout. So basically you scroll the pages like this. Here you have the kind of the notification bar, a notification center uh, where you have the invitations, the downloads and everything like that. You have the battery percentage right here, the time. You can also see the open applications right here when uh, right now it's only the home. You have the Bluetooth button on the top left corner. So now let's move on to the apps. Well, the first app you see on my screen is called Welcome Park, and this is the app which um, the PS Vita brings you to once you just like launch the system. So what do you have there? So once you tap it in to click on Start right here. So basically, this app has a lot of tutorials. Uh, which are like games that you can play to learn how to control your PS Vita. So uh, once you launch your PS Vita, I recommend you to just play one or two games to um, get used to your PS Vita, to the touch controls, uh, especially to the back touchpad. Alright, so to get back to the main menu, you just need to click on this PS uh, button right here. You can scroll through the applications which are open just like this, left and right, and you can close them just by sliding the window like this. Next application is Party. So basically in this app you can invite your friends to it and you can play games and chat even when they're at the distance from you. Next application is PS Store which is PlayStation Store. My store is unfortunately in French. You won't be able to understand what's written probably. Probably some of the text. But the goal of this is actually like the App Store on the iOS. You can basically download applications. You can pay with the top up cards that you can purchase in different stores. And as you can see here, um, it shows us a lot of games, different games, uh, which are kind of expensive for the PS Vita. You can't really compare the prices uh, of the PS Vita games with the games for iOS. Next is Friends. Uh, friends is an application where you can add your friends and edit them and everything. You can see uh, their stats as well. Right now you only have uh, one friend because I haven't really been playing with it. So right here it's me, the TechnoTuber. If you have PS account, um, you can add me as well. Next app is Music. Uh, here you can actually um, transfer all your music files that you have um, but I'm not really sure how to do it but this app is basically made for music so you know that feature um, exists on the PS Vita. Next app is exactly the same but for videos. You can basically watch your videos and it's very good to do uh, because the PS Vita has I think a 4.5 inch screen. Already not bad for uh, watching videos. Next is the browser just like the Safari browser or whatever browser you use. With the multi-touch controls it's actually pretty cool to use. It's very easy to navigate and to scroll the page. Unfortunately you cannot use this in the portrait mode like this just because it would look kind of awkward. Next app is photos. Uh, here you can actually see all your photos that you took and in the same app you can take your pictures as well. You can take a picture just by um, clicking on the right shoulder right here. Uh, Alright, let's just take a picture of my iPhone here. Alright. So it kind of takes time to save the photo but once you have it uh, you can click right here. Uh, the quality of the camera isn't that good but it's still um, okay if you really need to take like a quick picture or something. Next is trophies. Here it's basically the same as Game Center with uh, achievements and here it is called trophies. So right here as you can see I have 10 bronze trophies in EA Sports FIFA and wipeout I have only two. Um, which you can actually see and scroll through them. You can see which ones, what do you need to do to, to get another achievement and stuff like that. The last app on this page is called settings and this is where all the things happen. So right here you can put your PS Vita under flight mode like that it won't emit any of the signals. You can update your system uh, using Wi-Fi, PS3 system or by connecting to a PC. You can also get your Wi-Fi settings right here under network. You can you get the Bluetooth settings. You can 
turn Bluetooth off and you get the internet connection tests and um, status. Next option is the PlayStation Network where you can basically um, change your account settings and stuff like that. You can change the brightness, the security, date and time, language and other stuff right here. And by the way, if you're playing a game and you want to like change the brightness very quick, you can click on the PlayStation Vita button and hold it for a second and it will pop up, um, the window will pop up with uh, the brightness settings as well as the music volume and um, microphone disable and prioritize chat audio. On the next page I have the near application which allows me to uh, actually see who's playing PS Vita around me. I don't think this app is uh, secure because some people may see your location um, maybe somebody will, could hack it and then they can see where you are which is not safe at all. Next app is Maps. This app uses Google to provide you the maps and everything uh, and no you cannot use it in um, offline mode as this is only available with internet. So right here you can see um, a map of Lausanne which is a city in Switzerland and it's pretty easy to um, navigate with the multi-touch controls again um, but unfortunately with my Wi-Fi it doesn't work as fast but you, can, you get the idea, it's basically Google Maps. Next app is Remote Play. Uh, with this app it basically allows you to um, play your PS3 using the PS Vita. So that being said, this is basically using your PS Vita as a remote control for your PS3. The last app on this page is Content Manager which basically allows to manage your content on your PS Vita um, and this app is basically useful if you have any problems. You can uh, restore, save um, applications, you can change things. This can all be done in this application, Content Manager. Uh, next page right here, um, the only app which is preset here is the group messaging where you can basically chat with your friends. Of course this needs a Wi-Fi connection or just internet connection if you have the 3G model. Facebook and live tweets are the applications that I that are not preset and I just downloaded them uh, on PS Store. And the last page I have is um, just a bunch of games which I could review one of them probably the Wipeout 2048. So I really thank you guys for watching this amazing video and I'll see you in my next one. Peace.